explosive devices, IEDs, are explosive devices constructed and deployed in ways other than conventional military action. In recent times, there has been an expansion in the use of IEDs as weapons by armed groups and violent extremists to cause mayhem in West Africa, especially in the Sahel region. The National Commission on Small Arms and Light Weapons in collaboration with a small arms survey is therefore conducting a self-assessment exercise to determine the extent of proliferation and use of IEDs in the country. The Deputy Director and Head of Programs for Small Arms Survey, Johnson Asante Chum, highlights the essence of the assessment in the fight against the use of IEDs. IEDs or improvised explosive devices as a major threat to the peace and security, not just of Ghana, but within the sub-region, and particularly in the context of what is happening in the Sahel um, area. Um, we have seen a lot of IEDs being used, you know, to cause mayhem in many places, in hotels, in public gatherings, and all others by um, extremist element and terrorist element. And we need to take steps here to ensure that we prevent its proliferation and its use in Ghana. Um, first of all, we need to conduct an assessment of the state of um, IED proliferation in Ghana and also the precursors. Usually when you say IEDs, it's difficult to say this is an IED unless it has been put together or has been constructed. But you need to look at the precursors. What is it that is being used? you know, to make the IED. He called for the need to use legislative means as precautionary measure to deal with the issue of IEDs. You need a legislative instrument or a regulatory measure that will help you deal with it. Most times we talk, but when it comes to the issues of um, laws and regulation, you need it to be able to deal with it head on because this is not just a local matter, it's an international issue as well. And therefore, when you are dealing with it, you need a robust regulation to be able to deal with it, which also requires that um, the judicial service, the criminal justice system need to be trained on the issues to properly understand the context of um, improvised explosive devices and the measures that need to be taken to deal with it. The CIED advisor for Small Arms Survey, Paul Amoroso, added that the program is seeking to engage crucial stakeholders in a bid to come up with measures to deal with IEDs. Uh, there's multiple areas we will look at, uh, broadly broken down into those which could be preventative in terms of uh, stopping IED attacks or those which uh, we need to be best prepared to be able to respond if IED attacks do occur. And so it's everything from building up the security forces, their architecture, to engaging the population and um, various preventatives such as countering violent extremism, engaging such initiatives such as that. To prevent violent extremism and terrorism from infiltrating into the country, there is a dire need to employ relevant strategies and measures to deal with possible threats from the use of IEDs. It is expected that this assessment will help Ghana develop the needed strategies to curtail its use in the country. For Joy News, Linda Enyans report read to you.